Hi guys, this is Venkat Reddy. You are watching Java Mojo. Java dot util package has many useful interfaces and implementations. All these interfaces and implementations can be divided into two categories: collections and rest of them. Even collections also has different interfaces and implementations in which some of them allows duplicates some of them are not some of them preserves insertion order some of them are not like this different interfaces and implementations in collections has different behaviors in this video we will try to understand key interfaces and their behaviors we will start our discussion with java.util.collection interface this is the root interface for java collection framework this interface was introduced in jdk 1.2 and there is no direct implementation for this interface in jdk from jdk 1.5 onwards java.util.collection interface is extending java.lang.iterable interface this java.lang.iterable interface has methods which helps us to iterate elements inside collection objects the next interface in the hierarchy is java.util.list this interface was introduced in jdk 1.2 and this interface has three special characteristics the first one is this interface implementations preserves insertion order the second one is this interface implementations allows duplicates and the last one is this interface provides a special iterator called list iterator the next interface in the hierarchy is java.util.set this interface was introduced in jdk 1.2 and set interface has two special characteristics the first one is duplicates are not allowed in all the implementations of set the second one is insertion order is not preserved in most of the implementations of set only linked hash set preserves insertion order in the implementations of set this set interface has two sub interfaces the first one is java.util.sorted set this interface was also introduced in jdk 1.2 if you want to represent elements inside collection based on some sorting order then we need to use one of the implementations of sorted set the next sub interface is java.util.navigable set this interface was introduced in jdk 1.6 apart from three characteristics provided by set and sorted set navigable set provides some extra methods for navigation purpose the next interface in the hierarchy is queue this interface was introduced in jdk 1.5 duplicates are allowed in the implementations of queue this interface holds elements to be processed in the order in which processing has to take place queues generally order elements in fifo order that is first in first out but it's not mandatory that all queue implementations needs to implement fifo the best example is priority queue which order elements based on supplied comparator q has four sub interfaces in that the first one is blocking queue this was also introduced in jdk 1.5 this blocking queue is primarily designed to implement producer consumer problems this blocking queue defines blocking put and take methods this 
blocking put method adds elements to queue and waits for some time if required. In the same way, blocking take method deletes the element from queue and waits for some time if required. And finally, all the implementations of blocking queue are thread safe. The next sub interface of queue is DEC. This DEC was introduced in JDK 1.6. DEC is the interface that supports element insertion and removal from both the ends. The expansion of DEC is double ended queue. Another sub interface of queue is java.util.concurrent.transfer queue. This interface was introduced in JDK 1.7. This transfer queue extends blocking queue and provides some additional behavior to blocking queue. As we discussed, this blocking queue provides blocking put and take methods. This blocking put method adds element to queue and wait for some time if the queue is full. But in the case of transfer queue, the producer with wait for consumer to receive the element. This kind of mechanism helps in messaging applications. The next sub interface of queue is blocking deck. This interface extends blocking queue and deck and provides additional behavior to both of these interfaces. Blocking deck is the interface that supports element insertion and removal from both the ends. Blocking deck is the interface that supports element insertion and removal from both the end with additional blocking mechanism of blocking queue. Next key interface in Java collection framework is java.util.map. This was introduced in JDK 1.2. Java.util.map represents elements in the form of key value pairs in which keys are never duplicated. This map provides three collection views. Map content can be viewed as set of keys that is java.util.set of keys, collection of values and set of key value mappings. java.util.map has sub interfaces. The first sub interface is java.util.concurrent.concurrentMap. This was introduced in JDK 1.5. This provides thread safety to java.util.map. The next sub interface is java.util.sortedMap. This was introduced in JDK 1.2. If you want to represent key elements inside map based on some sorting order, we need to use one of the implementations of java.util.sortedMap. The next sub interface of java.util.map is java.util.navigableMap. This was introduced in JDK 1.6. This extends sorted map and provides extra methods for navigation purpose. The last sub interface in java.util.map is java.util.concurrent.concurrentNavigableMap. This was introduced in JDK 1.6. This concurrent navigable map extends concurrent map and navigable map and provides thread safety to navigable map. These are all the interfaces that are available in Java collection framework and their behaviors. In my next tutorials, I will explain about each and every interface and its implemented classes. So please stay tuned to my channel by subscribing. Thanks for watching my video. I hope to see you in my next tutorial.